a group of young friends from the Bronx fight to save their neighborhood from gentrification and vampires. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new Netflix review and this time it's for the new comedy horror film. You gotta love this title, Vampires vs. The Bronx. Very excited to let you all know what I thought about this movie and if you should check it out when it becomes available on Netflix October 2nd in this non-spoiler review. Before we dive into the details, as you all can see on the screen now, make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts so that way you all can stay up to date with what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to this channel welcome definitely subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other movie reviews tv reviews live streams and all the fun things we do on this very channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up helps out the channel but i also really appreciate it and in the comments guys let me know your pros your cons once you've seen this film of course and also let me know some of your favorite vampire films and what films are you looking forward to coming out in this october for the best time of the year let me know what you're most excited for in the comments below so this is one of those situations where I'm pre-recording this uh, review here where I saw the trailer on Monday, requested the screener from Netflix that afternoon, and saw it that same night. So kudos to Netflix for allowing me to be able to check this out. I was very excited for it because it definitely gave me some vibes of like Fright Night meets Lost Boys with this subject matter of gentrification, put another spin on that subject matter. So I was really excited for it. So let's jump right into this review. Again, no spoilers, but just getting into the positives. This film has some soul, man. It has a heart. It has a personality. And I thought that, you know, the director here, who I'm not too familiar with his work, uh, Osmini Rodriguez, he really embraced the Bronx. He really embraces this community aspect. And I really just love, again, this this film just has a lot of life to it. This is a lot of fun. Just from the opening scene, I was just smiling from ear to ear and just knew this was going to be something I was going to enjoy. So that was definitely something that was a positive. Uh, I have to say, man, this film has some edge to it, guys. There's some... Um, a couple F-bombs that I did not expect to see, but it was welcome because it felt natural to the situation, right? There's vampires in your community, and they're taking people out left and right, so I felt like the the edgy nature to this film definitely kind of highlighted some things that I liked about the film. Again, I think it is so important to embrace community and having this subject matter being that it is a gentrification, but it's not like forced down your throat. It's not in your face, but it takes that subject matter, which is an important subject matter, but also puts a spin to it. I always love when you see these real life circumstances real life situations be brought into the forefront but they put a kind of supernatural element in this case vampires so i really like uh how they had a message of coming of age but also having a message of gentrification but also how it is important that urban communities that do go through a, a, a transformation or a change, how important it is to keep the community within that change, you know, having your local shops, your local bodegas, uh, your local small businesses being a part of that change. So I love kind of that aspect of the film. And then of course, this film is heavily focusing on three characters, three young actors who I thought were really great. Those actors were Miguel, Luis, and Bobby. I really enjoyed their chemistry. They felt like friends to me. Uh, personally, I, you, they, they felt like their age. They didn't feel like they were being overly uh, hyper nature teenagers. They didn't feel like they were underplaying the situation. I felt like they were actually kids that would have reacted to this vampires being in their neighborhood. So I really appreciated that chemistry from the three main leads. This film isn't perfect. It does have its flaws. You know, one of the things that definitely comes to mind is might sound like a small kind of uh, negative, but there were some dialogue in this movie that was a little bit suspect and a little bit kind of generic for me. And the delivery from some of the <laughs> cast members in this film, I think of two lines in particular that just kind of felt so unnatural. There's a scene in the bodega when you have one of the, the characters saying to another character, uh, oh, you can get this kale on the house. And the character says, Oh, real talk? And the way that character said it just felt so unnatural. It sounded like it was the first time she ever said that before, as well as another character later in the movie who says, oh, that's what's up. And it just <laughs> it felt so unnatural for them to say these lines. And it just really kind of stood out to me. But that's just a small thing. But more in the cons, the film does focus heavily on the kids. And again, I thought the kids were great. But all the adults in the movie were so generic. It looked like they were all taking uh tips from like how to be parents in these type of movies one-on-one -on -one. they were just so to the book and so generic as far as the adults in this movie and whenever they would find out the news they of course they were like they didn't believe the kids and then when they see something they it just the, the adults in this film which is very bland to say the least and then not to harp on the visual effects of a small budget independent type of film of this nature but the vampire special effects to me were just a little kind of uh not the most uh, uh fully fleshed out visual effects i feel like the actual vampires 
were very unthreatening. And if I'm being honest with you all, and, and again, I felt like some of the effects of them hanging in the air, them flying in the air, them turning into vampires, like it looks like they actually had like literally like teeth you can get at like at a, at a costume store as their fangs. It was just kind of the visuals were a little bit too on the independent side for my likings. And then the last like kind of 15, 20 minutes of the film where you have like this big standoff with the vampires, there was definitely some cheesy moments, some corny moments within this film, this last uh, half of the movie. And it was just like very corny again, appreciating the fun that it was having with the film. And again, a kind of a throwback eighties film, but it was very, especially when the vampires float in the air, it was a little bit too much cheese uh, on that scene for me. But <laughs> overall, those are just kind of small minor things. At the end of the day, I had a fun time with this film. I liked the cast. I liked the message. I thought it was a lot of energy, a lot of fun. The, sc- the soundtrack, the score was very, uh, embracing the Bronx and the community there. So I really appreciate that. And at the end of the day, the idea of taking a real life situation which is a serious situation, an important situation with gentrification, but having these opportunities and you see in these urban areas, having these new companies come in, but again, embracing the community, being part of the change in the film, not being so on the, on the nose about what they're trying to say in this film, but also just having a fun time with adding the supernatural element of vampires was just a lot of fun for me. And again, really reminded me of like, as like I said, Lost Boys or Fright Night and just having a fun time. So with that being said, I'm going to give Vampires versus the Bronx a three out of five. Definitely Definitely give it a watch and when you all check it out let me know what you all thought about the film your pros your cons let me know some of your favorite vampire films uh comedy vampire films and let's have some great discussions in the comments below so as always make sure to like this video share comment your thoughts below subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other movie reviews tv reviews live reactions live streams and all the fun things we do on this very channel thank you all for watching this review hope you're staying safe and we'll see you in the next video